Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm going to be making some DIY bird feeders and bird baths out of items I already have or items from the Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, let's get started. For the first one, I am using this plant stand that I already had. I can't remember if this was thrifted or if my mom gave this to me years ago. And I have this little plate. This is from Goodwill. I guess it's like a little bowl. <laughs> and I'm just going to give this a good coat of paint. It was chipping in some spots, so I thought I would paint it a nice happy color. And this one's all finished, super easy. And I just added some water and since it was so hot out, I added a couple ice cubes and they were gone in seconds. <laughs> These are super easy to do and the birds love it. And here's another super simple one. I am just using this glass that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's nice and thick. It's not one of those really thin um, like cocktail glasses or anything. And I am just taking it and kind of burying it into the dirt of my little planter pot and just adding water. Make sure it's nice and secure like, you know, under the dirt in your pot. You can even put some stones around it. but. I just filled it with water and I'm adding some little decorative stones from the Dollar Tree because um, from what I read a lot of birds don't like um, or don't feel comfortable with deep bird baths so this will help it so it's um, you know shallow and from also from what I read hummingbirds don't like deep bird baths at all like sometimes just like wet rocks and stuff will do so hopefully something like this will bring in the um, hummingbirds so let me know what you think about this one I think it's so pretty and it's gonna be really easy to clean just pull it out of the pot and wash it and then put it back For this next one, I am using these stones or these rocks from the Dollar Tree. And I have a little tip for you if you haven't used these before, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> You'll also need some sort of twine or the Dollar Tree also sells those chains for planters, but mine was out, that was my original thought, so I had to use this twine. Then I got this plastic little serving tray from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to um, melt some holes in the side for the, um, the rope or the chain, whatever you're going to be using. And all you want to do is get it nice and hot and then hold it against the plastic and you have to kind of push and wiggle it, but it will um, pop through. Just takes a minute. I did end up, I'll show you here in a second, after I did all four holes, I did it on either side and then at the ends of the tray. But I did end up pushing the, kind of the holes outward that way, like right here I'm showing you. Um, that way there wasn't any like scratchy or pokey sharp edges that could hurt the birds. So I wanted to make sure it was nice and smooth. So then I am taking this really pretty blue color. I love this paint. I got it from our local um, hardware store. And I'm just going to spray the bottom of the tray because I want it to have like a, um, kind of like a little bit of a water effect, but I don't want the spray paint in the bird bath itself because I don't know how that affects birds. I can't imagine it's good for them. <laughs> and plus I read that um, the bright colors in bird baths and stuff will sometimes draw hummingbirds, which we don't have a lot of. We've seen a couple times, but I thought that would be really cool to see. So after it was all dry, I'm just taking that twine and I'm just going to loop it through and tie on all four of the holes. And then I'm going to keep the string or the rope a little bit long until I know how much I want it to hang down from the branch. And then I just went ahead and did that all the way around. Okay. 
If you guys like these type of videos, like with um, like outdoor bird baths and bird feeders and stuff, let me know because I have a couple other ideas, but I don't want to be putting out videos like this if you guys don't enjoy them. And if this is your first time here to my channel, I would love for you to pop into the comments and say hi, tell me a little bit about yourself, and let me know what kind of videos are your favorite to see. So I'm just going to hang this bird bath here next to the birdhouse that we made a few months ago. I'll link that video up above. I already have a family of birds in there and I love watching them. They're so tiny and that's why we made it because um, we wanted a place for the little birds to be able to go. Because our other bird houses were for um, bigger birds but that just um, made it so that the kind of bully birds could get in and get at their nests and stuff so we wanted something for the little the little tiny birds <laughs> so after i got that bird bath hung i evened it out and tied it at the top that way it couldn't like you know flex one way or the other and like dump out the rocks and stuff so i added the rocks and this is my little tip is to <laughs> wash them before you or rinse them out really good before you put them in your bird bath because they have this white powdery coating on them i should have done that first so save yourself some time and do it before you put it in the bird bath <laughs> so this is it all finished let me know what you think of this one and i'll let you know if i get some hummingbirds to come and visit This next one is a bird feeder and this is from the Dollar Tree. I got it last year and I just never did anything with it. It's a terrarium planter but I thought it would be really really cute as a bird feeder. And I didn't want that hole open because you know then the bird feed would get all wet and kind of sit in there and probably be soggy. I'm also using this garland. I know it's Christmassy but I'm going to end up taking those little white things off so you won't even be able to tell. And I am using a cork. And I'm just going to put it in that little hole so that no water can get in there. And then I'm taking that garland and looping it through. This is going to be my hanger. Um, to hang off of the branch. It's got like a wire inside so that's why I thought it would be perfect. And again with this, like the last one, I'm just going to leave it long until I decide how much I want it to hang down. Then you can use some, I think these are um, shims, or you can use sticks, branches, whatever you have, just for something for the birds to perch on. I am going to use the, um, the shims, and I'm using some, I think it was called crazy glue, something that's going to hold up in the rain and isn't just going to fall off when the birds stand on it. And I'm using a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place while the other glue dries. I'll be curious to see how many squirrels try and, to, try and get at the food because <laughs> that's usually what happens is the squirrels will get to it before the birds do. And it's quite comical how they'll hang upside down and they'll do anything to get to the feed. So I'm just filling up the little bird feeder. I think it's so cute. Let me know what you guys think. For this last one, I'm using this, um, it's like a strainer from the Dollar Tree. This was my husband's idea. And I am using this pot that I already had. There's a hole that I had drilled in there um, because I used to hang it from my kitchen cabinet. I'll link that video up above if you want to see how I did that. You're also going to need some sort of wreath and some wire hangers or wire. This I pulled off the wreath here, so that's why they're all... Um, curly and stuff already. I'm just reusing them. So our thoughts were for using the mesh strainer so that, um, you know, if it does rain and the bird seed gets wet, it will just drain out and then, you know, it gives it a little bit of airflow so that it dries and it won't get like moldy or anything. 
So I'm just taking that wreath and sticking the wire through the mesh and around the wreath and um, attaching it that way, making sure any of the pokey ends of the wire are down and you know folded into the wreath itself so that no birds will be harmed. <laughs> And then I'm just using that pot and I'm going to have it centered over that handle um, but I need to drill some holes in the side for the wire and also for the food to come out. So I'm using this really tiny bit and I'm just going to do three holes on the sides for the wire. And the Dollar Tree actually has some really cute pots that you can use in some really pretty colors. Here's my cat. She had to sneak out. She's an indoor cat, but she's always trying to run out on the deck <laughs> when we're out here. Hey. Okay, fine. And then here I'm just putting in the holes for the bird seed and I'm just going to do um, three. And I'm doing them kind of spaced out um, from where I put the little wire holes. And then here I am just attaching the wire to the pot first. I thought that would probably be the easiest because I don't want to glue it because I, you know, you have to refill it um, when it's empty. So I thought this would be the easiest way using the wire. And I attached it to all three of the holes and then I'm going to put it onto the mesh screen after I fill it with the bird seed. You just want to attach the wires through the screen making sure that it's center or however you want it placed on the screen you can push it all the way back to the side however you want the bird seat to come out um, but I'm leaving mine in the center and then attaching the wires that way and then cutting any excess off so you know, so that nobody gets hurt <laughs> And then the food comes out really well. If they're like poking at the little holes, it'll just pour out. Um, you know, you can do what I was doing and bang in the bottom a little bit or shake it out and it comes out perfectly. And then I am using some twine for this one. Again, I would have used the chain from the Dollar Tree that they use for the planters, but mine was all out. So I'm just using what I have. Then I thought it would be super cute to attach some flowers. I don't know how the hot glue will hold up in the weather. We'll see. I'll let you know. Um, because sometimes if hot glue is out in heat or um, cold, sometimes it'll just you know melt right off or snap right off. So I'll let you know. I didn't want to fill it too much with flowers because I don't know how <laughs> birds feel about fake florals. So we'll see but I wanted to just give it a little bit of color. I thought it would be really cute. And then my husband's helping me hang it. We're gonna hang it from our little apple tree. And this is it all finished. Let me know what you guys think of this type of video. Let me know what you think of these bird feeders and bird baths and do you like watching birds let me know thanks so much for watching guys i hope you're having a great week thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you for coming back each time i put out a video i would love for you to pop in the comments and say hi leave me a little sunshine or a little bird emoji let me know that you made it through to the end have a wonderful week and i'll see you next time bye